Hey y'all, Danny Dawson. Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to add APKs and games to y'all Simpsons cabinets. Step one, turn that bitch on. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to settings. If you don't, the demo will play and you'll just hear it in the background. On your keyboard, press Windows and L. You'll enter the calendar. Your first time doing this, you'll be asked some questions. Just either exit out the calendar or answer the questions. Now, you're going to want to hit Windows and N to bring down this menu. With your mouse, you grab right there, pull it down. In the right hand corner, you're going to hit the settings. That should bring you into this menu. Once you're in this menu, go into your storage. Now, before you turn your machine on, you're going to want to already have your SD card in it. All right, and click on your SD card, and you're going to want to format it to portable. Turn that bitch off and take your SD card out. Now put your SD card in your computer. Make a games folder, make an APK folder. All the APKs I link, put in the APK folder. Now for all your games, go to your games folder, make a folder for each system, and put the game that corresponds with that system in that folder to keep them organized. You're ready to now take your SD card out and put it back in your machine. Once you're back on your machine, navigate to your storage, SD card, APK folder. All you do is click on them to install the APKs. You'd hit continue and then install. I already have this APK, so I'm not gonna install it. To access the apps you installed, click on apps and notification, see all 21 apps, and then you can click on RetroArch and any other APK you installed. Once you've installed RetroArch and you're ready to map your controls, press right on the keyboard twice to go to your settings. You're, from here, you're going to want to press down till you get to input. Press enter, go down till you get to port one. All right, so I'm going to go to my D-pad up. I'm going to press enter. And then once I press enter on the keyboard, I'm going to hold up on the joystick to map it. Same thing for D down, left, right, A, B, Start and select, map it to your liking. These all read the same, attack and jump in the joysticks, but these are extra buttons, the um, start buttons and the lie buttons. So you get seven all together. To remove the on-screen overlays, go to settings, go down to uh, on-screen display, on-screen overlay, and hit on or either off play games you're going to want to go to low core and your first time you're going to want to go to download a core and pick all the cores you want for me these are all the cores that work best for me Now here's how to load your games with the core. Go to load content, go down to your storage, and click on your SD card. Go to your games folder, click on the game you want, and then click on the core that matches that game. Now, if you do decide to install Launcher to make life a little bit easier so you can just navigate to all your apps without having to go through the keyboard to get to the menus, install Hidden Activity Manager and click on it. Click on this first thing that says one up. Click on the thing under it to access the stock games. To map your controls in PSP, go to your settings, controls, Control mapping, up, pretty much the same as RetroArch, but a little bit easier. Are you ready to play the coolest arcade one-up cabinet there is? Hi, have a beautiful time.